Alright everybody, we are back on the final video for Dead Rising 3 here, and this is bonus 4, and we'll be covering episode 4, which is called The Last Agent, I believe, and it's our last Untold Story DLC. So again, I'm gonna just, like I said in the past 3, always back up your saves before starting these, because they can wipe the save data, um, or you can just run into a collectible glitch to where one of them that you picked up doesn't count or something like that, which may require you to redo your save. Um, like I said, on Xbox, you might be able to use cloud storage or a USB drive, and on PC, the save's just in my documents and my game, then my games. Um, and then it's just in the Dead Rising 3 folder, so it's not that hard to find. Uh, you can't rely on Steam Cloud. Steam Cloud will, it, when you, once you quit the game, it'll overwrite your previous progress with whatever progress the game left with. So it'll basically just overwrite your good progress with bad progress. So it's kind of useless in that situation. But yeah, this one we play as Brad, who is also a character in Dead Rising 4. And this basically is like the extended ending of the game. This one, I, usually when I play through the Dead Rising series... Uh, in the past, before before I did YouTube, I would only ever do episode 4. I wouldn't even bother with episodes 1 through 3 because they're mostly inconsequential. Uh, but episode 4 is pretty much like what happens to everybody else after Nick defeats General Hemlock. Um, and then, like I said, Brad's also a character that returns in Dead Rising 4 for a little bit. He's, he's a part of like the whole game overall, but you just don't really see him outside of the beginning. Um, but I think we're ready to just jump right in. I know that this one has a lot of collectibles, but as I said in the other parts, I already have it all collected, so it won't even show up in my game unless it's main story based, which I'm pretty sure they... I'm pretty sure you do have to collect some of the collectibles for the main story, though I don't think they count. It's more of just introducing what they are. Um, so we'll be able to see those, but all the other ones I can't see because I already collected them. But we will focus on the side objectives, which one of them is saving all of the survivors in this one. And there are five in each district. So there's five in Ingleton, Sunset Hills, South Alameda, and Central City. And one of them's kind of in between Sunset and Central. I think they count as a Sunset Survivor. So we will go for all of them. They work the same way as the Stranded Survivors do in the main game, where you just have to clear the zombies out and then they just run away. Um, but if any of them die, it kind of screws it all up. So hopefully that doesn't happen. For me, it's not too big of a deal, I guess, because I don't really have to do it. But I do try. I do like saving the people in this game in all the other Dead Risings. We don't actually have to do that at all in Dead Rising 4. But all right, let's uh, let's get started. Some people got a higher calling. Help their fellow human beings. Abide by the law. Believe that rules are gonna make the world a better place. My old friend, CDC agent Brad Park, is one such man. Which is probably why he's on death's door right about now. I'm the CDC. Help me. You're supposed to be saving people! What? CDC You want to take care of the problem by killing off the infected. That's a lie. Give me a chance. I'll show you. I'm probably gonna regret this. You're free to do what you want now. Thank you. Alright. Gotta get going. He said the CDC was killing people. Someone is spreading lies about us. But why? Oh, we're still a little hazy here, but yeah, we're Agent Brad Park. now. Agent Park. Brad, are you alright? Doctor, I'm here. Oh, uh, I hadn't heard from you for a while. I thought maybe something happened. I know where the Zombrex is. Oh, thank God. Please bring it to the hospital. We have patients who badly need it. On my way, Cora. The ZDC will not let them down. Alright, let's just letting the dialogue play there, but yeah, we gotta go get some Zombrex. So the one thing I always thought that was interesting with this DLC, though, is how Nick is the one that helps him, but you never do that in the main story. <laughs> but the slag shot, I don't actually remember, I thought this was just like a fire pistol. Yeah, I never really used this that much. He also has a tactical pistol. Alright, let's go get the counterfeit Zombrex. I don't believe that we can save any of the stranded survivors at this point, but 
Maybe I can check. There'll actually, if we can, there'll be one very close to our main mission here. So I guess we'll find out. Is there any electronics nearby? That's why I picked up those bricks. Here we go, we got a radio. Always gotta get our trusty laser sword. I'm almost wondering if it's easier to just... I don't know if we get access to that many cars, but before we... Yeah, we can save them right away. Okay. So maybe we should actually just save our stranded survivors right away first. It might be easier. I'm off of me. Is he using a crossbow? Alright, so there's our first one. Uh, hopefully we can save all five, because then I'll just do that all in a row here. Our next one should be right around here. I don't even know if I get access to a vehicle at this point. But yeah, another heads up with the stranded survivors. Don't get too close to them and then just leave, because they'll just automatically die, even if they were safe. Yeah, there's Jack. That's the one thing annoying about them. Alright, there's Jack. He is rescued. Um, they kind of all go in somewhat of a pattern here, because our next one's down this way. Which we should be able to just cut through the building here. Normally there is a car in here somewhere, but maybe they won't let me drive a vehicle. Oh no, there's a car right there. Let's just grab that. Let's get another assault rifle. I'll just replace this one. I always like to keep at least one open hand slot. I'll grab the car. Oh, there's a junk car right here. Let's see if we can save our stranded survivor first, though. Wait, is he actually supposed to... Nope, there she is. Marker was somewhat close, but not directly on top of her. No problem, Mia. Better get to cover. Fast. So we grab that junk car. Uh, I'll place the marker on the next stranded survivor as well. They're gonna be somewhere near this. And then... Actually, wait, we have another one before then. It's gonna be, like, right there. Which I'm gonna have to jump over the barricade to get to that one. I wonder where this junk car came from. seems strange that this is just sitting here. I mean, I'll take it, though. I'm, I'm pretty sure if we do our main quest, we have to, yeah, we have to drive a chemicals van. I'm looking at my main objective. So we want to definitely save the people first before doing that. Hang on, Maya. Again, these are all people that we saved during the main game. Oh, fuck. We're going to be screwed here. I can't get around shit. Okay, wait, wait. We might be able to salvage this. Thank God. I was, th I thought I would have, would have to go all the way around, which would not have been good. <laughs> she definitely would have died. Thanks. I'll take my chances on my own. Thanks for your help. Go to the hospital. It's safe. Damn. Maya, watch out for those explosives, please. She's kind of stuck right now. All right, now we can get the last one in in uh South Elmuda. I think I called it Sunset on accident before. But, let's go get our car again. Wait, where did I... There it is. I was gonna say, I thought I parked somewhere over here. We're gonna have to ditch this thing anyways, but... It'll get me to where we need to go for now. Probably am not gonna want to use that ability once we actually get by our survivor. Because that will hurt them. Oh, unless they're in the... Oh, never mind. I thought they were going to be in the store. Hang on, Vicky.
Thanks for saving me. No, no, no. It's cool. Get to a safe it's place. All right, there we go. That's all five of them in South Almuda. Let's go and get our chemical van really quick. Oh, I know why my marker was a little off from there. I was actually looking at the Central City one on accident. But we're good. There was still a survivor on the south side of this. But yeah, the annoying thing about this... Okay, you know what I'm going to do instead of trying to drive the vehicle? I am just gonna run to it from here. I, I wish they would have just removed these two small barricades here, just to let us drive through. I don't know why it's even blocked off. I never really understood that. But instead of driving all the way around, it's gonna be more convenient for us to just cut through right here. Also, I think infinite sprinting, I don't think I ever mentioned this in the main game, but I think infinite sprinting is actually just a skill that you can unlock. Stop in here really quick so I can make a second laser sword. Jesus Christ, there's so much shit over here. It's locked! There's gotta be another way in. Maybe through the building. Alright, I was gonna say which one? There's two of them. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I forgot the railgun was in this DLC. You can get it in the main game as well. This thing's insane. I gotta get to that van. Cora's waiting for me. Make sure I don't hit the van, though. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to use it here or not. All right, good. It didn't do anything to the van. Wait, how am I gonna get this thing? Oh, okay, it's past the uh, barricade. I was gonna say, how am I gonna even get it through? Be careful. The military's been blocking off entrances to the freeway. It might be hard to get around. Damn it, that's right. I forgot that one annoying thing about this, at least they show you on the map, but they block off all of the central bridge entrances, so you do have to kind of work your way around the entire map. There is going to be another stranded survivor right around here, so we're going to have to save them, but we got to go this way. We actually have to take South Bridge. I noticed that in these DLCs, driving a vehicle with a health bar is like a running theme. You have to do it a few times in the main game as well, but you always have to do it in at least, oh, well, at least one time in each DLC. What happened to this? Damn. It started going really slow. I might not want to use the railgun to save the survivors, but we have some assault rifles. Definitely driving past them. I feel like they would mess this vehicle up otherwise. I hate trying to make turns like that with vehicles, like vans especially. All right, let's save Madeline before we drive away from her. Otherwise, she's screwed. Shit, they're in trouble. Make sure we kill the gun ones, just in case you get shot. Alright, now, before we make it to the garage, we are going to have another stranded survivor in this area. So we're going to want to save them before we drop the van off, too. At least most of them are, like, on your direct paths, so it's not like it takes you way far out of your way to save these people. But it is annoying doing uh, survivor saving when you have to drive a vehicle. I think she's just going to be on the stage. Unless we don't have to worry about... No, I, I see him. It's Bob. Ooh, Bob is in a really bad spot. He's not, like, elevated enough. I wonder if they can actually get up to him. Oh, no. He's safe. Oh, 
I don't know which way he's going to take. Alright, there goes one of our assault rifles. Alright, let's get this van back before we track down the other three. This is the spot that I hate, though. Get off my car! Maybe we can cut through here. Actually, you know what? Before we drop off the van... No, okay. It's close enough to where we may not have to worry. <laughs> Forgot where the zombie comes from, but there's always like a zombie in her safe area whenever you get up to her. You made it! What happened? I started to turn, Cora. My chip must be broken. I needed Zombrex. You too. I've seen that happen to some of the patients here. Look, if I could compare several of the chips, I might be able to figure it out. Can you find some and bring them back to me? I'll do my best. Where do you think I can get them? Some of my patients notice that all the mutant zombies seem to have them. You go and start looking. I'll radio if I find out any more information. There's a ZDC weapon called a pacifier. And that's exactly what it does. It should knock them out so that I can get what I need. A patient said there were some ZDC supplies being brought in on the metro track heading east above the freeway. Maybe that. Uh, I'll go check it out. Alright, there's our next mission. So yeah, this also adds some context to, like, what they might have been up to. Is where they tell you that, like, only the special ones seem to have, like, the... Like, the mutated zombies have, like, these, like, special chips in them. Some context there. Ooh, another assault rifle. Nice. Gotta be some pacifiers on that metro track. I'm Before we go to the metro track, though, we're gonna get our last three uh, stranded survivors in Central, which the other one's just right up the road from us. I guess we can just walk up there. Hang on, Sam. Damn, what the hell was that? She just, she cleared him out herself. She was more than okay. I could have killed her right there on accident. But right, Sam saved herself. <laughs> Our next one's going to be somewhere over here. So let's just run there right away. I'm not really cutting down because these are just straightforward paths. Ooh, we've got some special mutated right here. Them. I might need to shoot them with that one pacifier gun he was talking about. Of course they locked these doors. Oh, this is the museum. I think there is another way out of the museum, but we can't even go in there right now. Let's just go this way. I wonder what Sam did to blow them up. Alright, Jordan, he seems good then. The Let's get the last one, which is actually just kind of on our way. It's right here. It's gonna be right by where our main mission's gonna be. Hang on, Alec. No need to fear. A guy a part of the company that kind of caused the outbreak is here. Yeah, it looks like the ZDC and Phenotrans. They actually go into it in Watchtower, the movie, um, like how the ZDC became involved. But alright, that's all of them in Central City. Um, we do have one that counts for Sunset Hills over here. Um, but let's just focus on our main mission right now. Damn it! The supplies are on the upper track. How the hell am I gonna get up there? I don't want to. I don't want to get that car. The main reason why I don't want to get that car is I don't want to bring it too close to the survivor on the edge of the bridge. Right, let's head up to the upper track.
Should be able to still drive to it from here. Damn, I almost hit those barrels. Okay, vehicle physics. Did I at least get him? Nope, he must have melted my bullet with that rocket. Grab a new assault rifle. Doctor, we've got the pacifiers. Oh, fantastic. You should be able to extract the chips now. now Even when it does that, wait, when did I get vitamins? Look for densely populated areas. I'll need at least 20 chips to compare them properly. Grab two of them just in case. Alright, so we have to specifically harvest them in Sunset Hills, so I guess. I guess we can just start with saving some of the survivors and grabbing the chips at the same time. Um, our first one, like I said, is somewhere down here. So we might be able to just get to them on foot really quick. This is such an inconvenient area to travel. <laughs> yep, there they are, Tracy. This is a very bad spot. Tracy, good luck, but if you hit a f barrel, you're screwed. Alright, but our next stranded survivor is actually going to be, like, right about over here-ish. Somewhere near that, like, workout area where Jerry was. Let me get a little bit closer to it. Yep, there they are, Ava. Shit, in trouble. I need help. Oh, thank you. She was actually in that pre-rendered cutscene for an Angel, uh, Fallen Angel. <laughs> She's the one that saying she was saying she was hungry or whatever. But all right, there's that. I'm gonna harvest these chips while we're here. But the next stranded survivor is actually right over here. But let's see if we can get some of these chips. There's those. She needs 20 of these in total. Uh, let's head towards our stranded survivor instead. So it'll actually just be more convenient to head down the street. Of course they have a bunch of football players. Don't really feel like getting tackled right now. Alright, let's help Greta out, maybe. I keep getting grabbed. Someone's in trouble. Probably avoid moving her car as much as I can. Oh my God. Hey. I'll take my chances on my own. Thanks for your help. Get inside and stay inside. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Actually, it seemed like the chip popped out anyways. All right, there we go. I think that's all the chips I can get here. Now, our next stranded survivor is all the way up the hill. So we're basically just going to keep heading up the hill, I suppose, just to get them. But they're all the way up here. And I just removed my marker on accident. There we go. Let's grab these chips on the way up. These ones are pretty close by. Yeah, I actually enjoyed Brad's DLC. I will admit, though, that if it's your first time playing it, getting all the collectibles, there's so many. There's like three different collectible sets in his DLC. Harvester's actually just a really good gun. Would be kind of nice to have a car, though. 
But I find myself having to get out to do things all the time, so I've just been running on foot. Let's head up here. Can you get out of the way? Alright, there's Alex. Let's try to get close really quick. I don't want to be too far from him. Shit, they're in trouble. Oh my god. Thanks. I'll take my chances on my own, but thanks for your help. Better get your cover. Fast. Okay, I was gonna say, which way did she jump down? Alright, now our last stranded survivor for Sunset Hills is actually gonna be very close to our next group of zombies for the chips it's gonna be right there so I'll probably want to save them before actually tackling the chips Keep getting stuck hang on Jasmine don't die on us yet All right, there we go. That's all of them in this district. Let's finish collecting these chips. These two really quick. It's very crazy that there's 20 of these exactly. Can I can't get up this way? I thought there was a staircase that led right up. Oh, there it is, it's right here. Yeah, I was gonna say they should be on the court here. Doctor, I found all the chips you need. Oh, that's wonderful. Ooh, he actually had a little, like, dodge roll there. Alright, now we just gotta head back to Korra. I'm um, pretty sure we do get sent to Ingleton, so we can worry about the stranded survivors when we actually have to go there. Alright, let's just get back to Korra. Yeah, there's that hospital zombie again. I don't think they can actually attack Korra, though, so it's not like she's in any danger. But it's just funny that there's always one here. Oh, you got them! I'll take them inside and examine them to figure out why they malfunctioned. If you can get any more while you're out there, please do. They can all help us figure out what happened here. Alright. I was sure if she was going to try to say something else. Whoa! What the hell was that? It sounded like an explosion. I better go check it out. Be careful! I should know what's wrong with the chips when you come back. I actually didn't remember this, but the Zombrex chip collecting is actually a side quest. I thought that it was one of the collectibles. I guess we're gonna have to do that too. I might just like tackle one group and then the final group to just cut it all down because they are tracked similar to how we did the cameras, but we can do our main mission first. I'm gonna have to go back to South Elmuda. Since we're here, actually, let me, yeah, let me like, uh... I mean, I can collect the first two in front of our main quest. It's a good thing I picked up some extra one of these. But yeah, I, th I thought that was a collectible, but it's actually a side mission, so we gotta hit these guys up. Just grab these two. I think this can be a little buggy um, with the chips, to where they like fly and they just don't hit the ground. All right, let's just grab those two over here. Oh, the biker gang, that's right. There's actually an achievement for doing this mission. Attacking people. You've got to help them. I found this out there. 
You can probably use it better than I can. Get to the hospital. You'll be safe there. Wait, that guy actually had... I forgot that that was even in the game. The power fist thing from, um, Case West. Yeah, the impact hammer. I completely forgot about that. But yeah, there's an achievement for finishing this main mission chain. Um, I guess I'll head to these and then hit up the ones close by. Let's just cut to when I get closer to the chips. Oh man, they, did they set Keith on fire? Oh no, he's fine. All right, we saved Keith. Let's kill these two zombies over here. I grabbed the two chips on the near the safe house area on the south side of Central. So we're at four now. We're about to be at six. I don't want the Bowie knife. Let's get rid of these other bikers really quick. Let's see if we can save Jasmine. Unless they just set her on fire right there. Alright, she is safe. There's those two chips. Uh, the last two are right over there. So let me just grab those last two and then head to the main mission. Alright, there we go. I guess I just ended up showing all of them except for the two on the south side, but they were kind of in our direct path. Like a perfect circle around the map for our main mission. But we gotta help out Korra now. I think this is actually like the remainder of the biker gang, story-wise. There we go, they're all dead. All our Zombrex was in there. What are we going to do? Don't worry, I'll find more. The CDC had been trying to shut down a black market Zombrex operation in Ingleton. I'll go look there. All right, and there's our cue to go to Ingleton, but I'm in, I'm gonna go and collect the chips from South Almuda and then get them from Sunset Hills as well. So it'll just it'll just cut to when I'm actually getting the last few in those districts. Of course, I don't have a car to get to South Almuda though. All right, let's round these two closer together so I can get them with one shot. These are my last two in South Almuda. All right, that's those. And here are the last two for Sunset Hills. Just make sure when you're doing these that you're looking at the counter when you're picking them up. Because uh, sometimes Brad will do the animation of picking a chip up and it'll complete the mission and then there'll still be a chip on the ground. So you'll have to like remember where they were if you if it accidentally just didn't pick one up. So always pay attention to your counter while you're picking them up. But alright, now we can go to Ingleton and get our last five stranded survivors and then clean up the rest of the chips. Um, I don't I don't know if they're going to make me drive anything for the bootleg Zombrex. But alright, let's see here. This survivor's got me kind of nervous because there's one that shows up right in the hotel area. And since the only way into Nor uh, Ingleton is uh, through North Bridge, I almost called it North Plaza for some reason. Um, if it triggers while we're on the bridge, in order to get down there, we're going to have to get too far away and then the survivor will die. I think I actually remember that happening a little bit. But we'll have to see when I get closer, I guess. Alright, they're still alive. Let me just get out of the car here, though, since they're already triggered. Yeah, I just stuck to the right side of the bridge as much as I killed. could, just in case. Ah! And also grab our chips as well. Alright, 
definitely picked up two. Make sure they're all cleared out here. Now, our next, we do have another stranded survivor somewhat kind of close by over here, so we might as well just head to this one next. Um, we can just drive over there with our junk car right away. The Zombrex chips, they're kind of tricky. The, I know that there's a lot of confirmed issues with them, but like I said, sometimes he does pick them up without picking them up. Like, it cues the animation, but it doesn't actually grab the chip. As I've already mentioned, so just watch out for that. Cause I, it almost screwed it almost screwed me up when I was collecting the ones in Sunset Hills. Hey, thanks, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. Get somewhere safe. Ooh, I just shot my car on accident. Let's grab these chips. I hate when a zombie takes the shot for me. Alright, there we go. Four out of ten. Um, now, for the next stranded survivor, they're not actually going to be... I guess they're kind of along the way. We can actually go and get them next, I suppose. Uh, they're actually somewhere over by our chips again. They're like around this spot. So let's get our car. I'm just trying to do this in a way where we're not going to directly interact with our main mission right away. Kristen, hang in there. Shit, they're in trouble. Please help me. She has a crossbow as well. Thank you so much. You kind of restored my faith in humanity. All right, and then we can head up and get our chips really quick. <laughs> like how they bounce so high up when you do those. You're gonna be in this parking lot. The, okay, of course they're scattered. You don't actually need to use the harvester gun or whatever this thing was called, the pacifier. You can just kill them, but... Pacifier does a good job. Alright, there's those two chips. And then our next stranded survivor is kind of going to be on the way to the main mission a little bit. I'll just mark them right now, but they're going to be, like, right here. Um, but I'm going to go and grab the rest of the Zombrex chips really quick. Unless I can avoid... You know what? Maybe we can avoid it. I'll just go for the Stranded Survivor, because there's one right here, and then the last one's just right where the wall's barricaded, so we'll hit them first. They should just be right by Rhonda's garage ramp here. Yep. Kellyanne, I think. I don't actually, I miss. I didn't know how to pronounce this guy's name in the main game either, because it's a dude. Kellyanne sounds like a, a woman's name. Oh, I forgot to pick up that other assault rifle that was by us. We only got one left. We've got like infinite zombies pouring in. All right, he should make it. All right, and then from here, we should be able to get our final stranded survivor in Ingleton. Which they should be up here. What the hell? What the hell is the military doing here? Plan is to evac survivors, not eliminate them. Gotta find that Zombrex. Military's killing people. Hey. Thanks, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. Alright, and that actually should get the Serve and Protect achievement once you do it, but that is all five stranded survivors in Ingleton, and we already saved all the rest. So now I just need to grab the last two chips, which, um, I'm gonna do the chips before the main mission just in case it skips. Uh, one of the chips is right behind it, and then the other one's all the way up the road. Let me just, alright, I was just double checking my survivor count, but alright. Let me clean up the rest of these chips, and then we'll continue the main story. Hey, 
Alright, there we go. That's done. Uh, it's, do I have to go all the way around or can I just cut... No, I do have to go all the way around. I thought, I thought there was another entrance on this side. There we go. All the defective Zombrex chips are collected. Well, all the special ones at least. I guess all of them are defective. What the fuck was that? Okay, this guy is going nuts. Oh my god, stop stunning me. Dude, they keep doing the flashbang rocket combo. Need to get this back to the hospital. Yep, this one kind of sends you around the map a lot too, because now I gotta go all the way back to Central City, and I can't take the bridge because it's barricaded. <laughs> I don't think I can take the bridge at least. I mean, you can drive through into South Elmuda, but I might be better off taking North Bridge. So it'll just cut to when I get closer to Korra. All right, Korra, we've got your bootleg Zombrex all the way from Ingleton. How many times have we killed that zombie? Also, whose shadow is that on the wall? Oh, that just keeps glitching out now. Thank you so much, Brad. Any more Zombrex you can find out there, pick it up. We can always use more. Here's what I found out. The timing devices on all those chips got turned off remotely. I don't know how, but I think I know someone who can help. His name is Nelson. He was here a few days ago, going on about how something was fishy with the chips. He said he'd be hiding out at the Sunset Dance Studio. He's a little interesting, so be careful. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay, I think that's what I was getting it confused with, though. I think the Zombrex, like the bootleg Zombrex, I think that was the... Oh, no, it's not. Son of a bitch. Wait, oh, no, these are actually collectibles, I think. Maybe these were the ones that didn't track stat-wise for me because I had, like, a save data bug. All right, well, they're marked on the map, so I'm just gonna head to the next main mission. I'll just pick them up in my own time. But yeah, let's just head to sunset. It's a damn good way to start it. Guess I'll get this dialogue. Turn off their scheduled dosage of Sombrex from the chip. Wait until their dosage time comes, and then. But these are BDC chips. Who on earth would do such a thing? I don't know. But maybe this Nelson guy can help us figure it out. All right. Let's head to sunset. Alright, I'm getting pretty close to the dance studio here. So yeah, I uh, I went to the ZD's, or the Zombrex chip spots. Is there one right here? Yeah, but they're empty. So these actually must have been collected already. They're just not showing up at their locations for me, even though they're marked. Because I was going to say, I should have picked them all up and I thought that they were a collectible type. And they are. They are a collectible type. So I can't actually get them. For some reason, I just have the markers. Uh, where's the entrance to this? Hopefully that guy can live long enough, because, uh... There's no way into his dance studio. <laughs> we might have to go through this door over here, maybe. Oh shit, a lot of zombies. Dude, it's like a solid wall. Maybe I can get up from here. I'm actually starting to wonder how the hell I even get into this place. Oh, I guess they wanted me to go through here. How did all these zombies even get in here? And why are there so many fireworks in here? 
Okay, that one knocked me down. Are we not clear? Stop shooting me. He doesn't want me to clear the ones outside, too, does he? Try not to fall off. Alright, there we go. I think we're clear. Oh, shit! Okay, uh, yeah, thanks, thanks. Um, look, man, you tell me what the hell you want. Well, that's what I'm here for. I need you to track down some signals. Ha! Now, why the hell would I do that? Cora. Well, it is getting pretty boring in here. Cora's hot, so okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need some equipment. I don't got it. That crashed copter would have something, and definitely that electronic shop in Ingleton. God damn it, man. Why do these DLCs keep doing this? I have to go everywhere. I guess we're going to Ingleton now. Oh, CDC, huh? You got any idea how much people. Wait, oh, he has to come with us? Alright, let me get my car already then. Right? right, and I think you're naive, man. Let's go. Yeah, get in the car then. I thought we were just gonna come and bring the stuff back to him. Should be able to cut up through here. Alright, here we are. Okay, looking for a spectrum analyzer, bro. Keep your eyes peeled. Okay. of all the military. Can't even pick that up yet. Is there another soldier somewhere? Oh, there he is. Ow. Dude, these guys kind of blend in. Alright, let's just get back in the car and drive around the city. Come on, Nelson, get in. Because it looked like it's closer to Rhonda's garage than anywhere else. So we're kind of barricaded. We're better off just driving around here. Did he jump out? What the hell, Nelson? Trying to get himself killed. Well, go get your thing, dude. Just block the door with your body. Oh, sweet. I got another mini jet engine, man. Dude, you put this together with the fire extinguisher? Oh, damn it, I shot my car. At least we're right next to the garage. Did he get his stuff? What is he doing? Oh, I guess I'm looking in it. Got it! We just need some place to work now. Yo, my buddy worked at the Triple X shop! They got a mixing booth, lots of equipment. Let's go. Yeah, I bet that's why you want to go to the Triple X shop. Yeah, you know, you look like you maybe need a little more of that R and R. All right, Nelson, let's head there. Wait, which one? Wait, he wants to go to the South Almuda one? Why? There's an... I thought he wanted to go to the strip club, but I guess not. I don't even know if he can follow me. He's kind of just idle over there. Dude, are you acting out? I'm not acting out. You're the one that's just not following. I had to get another car. All right, get in, Nelson. Let's go to your sex shop. This should be good enough. Kind of fully barricaded. I don't know if I can get into it through here. 
Is this the back of it? Okay, yeah, this is the same store. I wasn't sure if it was gonna make me go all the way around. Man, why do they have all this stuff here? I'm gonna get to work figuring out where that signal came from. <laughs> Looks like there's some ZDC fire starters right over there. You wanna control zombies? <gasps> Now's your chance. It's gonna take me a few minutes. Why don't you make yourself useful, Mr. Agency Man? Burn all those unsightly bodies by the front door before they come and knock it. Just get to work, all right? Well, hopefully 40 bodies is enough. Wait, so we gotta explore while he works. Can I even burn bodies right now? I'm pretty sure that's another collectible type because I'm seeing a yellow circle with a circle before I came outside. Um, I, I mean, I can see if I can burn these bodies. I don't think I can. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have to sit and wait around. <laughs> wait, does he mean this specific body right here? No, yeah, see, for me, it's already done. There's no bodies to burn. So, I'm just gonna have to kill some time. Alright, we can go talk to him again. I checked some of the other burn body locations and those were also empty, so... The markers are just stuck, I guess. I got a lock on a signal. Military frequency, man! Coming from Sunset by that big mansion. Whoever's directing those spec ops, that's your guy! Got your evidence right up there, man. Alright, so we just gotta go all the way back to Sunset Hills now. Always fun. I think my car's parked Don't over here. Source. That's the evidence I need. This was no accident. Alright. Let's head out that way then. Decided to let that dialogue play out. Um, but yeah, I went through Ingleton and hit a barricade. Because <laughs> apparently a random... Here, I'll show you. A random barricade pops up right where you need to go. So I drove all the way up to that bridge and then was barricaded and had to come all the way back around. Good old Capcom Vancouver and their map design. Alright, let's keep going towards Sunset. Alright, I'm getting pretty close to the mansion here. Is this the one where the... Yeah, this is the one where that one guy was. With the armory key. I believe, at least. Maybe not. No, actually, the armory key was the next building over. Did they break all the windows? Train yard on Hemlock's orders. What the? This is signed by Marion Mallon. I thought she was in prison. This can't be good. Nope, Marion Mallon is dead. Jesus, man, this back and forth is insane. <laughs> now we gotta go there. Um, I wonder if it lets me cut through the metro. But yeah, that's like the one. That's the biggest glaring issue with the DLC. I think is just. They just 1,000 meters to Mule. press B and then another 1,000 meters to press B the again. Kind of it's, it's, it gets a little ridiculous. Anyway. All right, let's see if I can cut through that metro. I guess. All right. Luckily, they let me go through the metro, the one that we had to take for all those motorcycles in Hunter's level.
I like how so many of their own men are always zombified. play out there but yeah brad's in his final form outfit now <laughs> please don't blow up the junk bike they just gave me who's even throwing that there ought to be more clues at the taxi company yeah but now we got to go all the way to the taxi company where is this guy there he is let's say i'm hearing him talking all right let's uh well i'm gonna blow this barrel up Alright, so I think they just kind of give me a... Well, they don't give me a straight shot. So basically what they want me to do is go all the way around South Almuda into Ingleton. So I guess that's our path. Yeah, man. They have such bad uh, pacing with map design in, the, in these DLCs. Alright, we're getting close to that prison camp. I think we're just staking it out in the same spot Red Spec and Nick did. Use that chip gonna plan it then they can track me all they want just gotta be ready to take them out when they get here maybe I can just sneak past wait is this like literally the same mission that if I have the option to sneak past here we go they should be here any minute <laughs> like a horse to water now let's get inside I mean I don't know how well I guess we can jump out through here Unless they don't let me actually sneak past him anyways. What the hell oh, they just know I'm here. Not really tracking the chip. Alright, we're in the taxi company. Gator 5, stand by for casualty retrieval information. This is Godfather 802. Need your coordinates. Say again, coordinates required for evac. Okay, well, we're not getting in. The doors are locked. Can I get in through here? Maybe let's interact with the door. Maybe I have to do something else. Nope, we just uh can't do anything. <laughs> let's try to get to the roof. Oh, unless they want me to kill all the soldiers, but I don't know where some of them went. I don't know. Mission objective's not really telling me a whole lot. I don't even know why I needed to draw them out. All the, all the spec ops in here are zombies. But I might be able to jump across the roof here. Yeah, here we go. I guess that's what they want you to do.
gonna turn soon. <clears throat> Just following orders. <gasps> Me too. All right, we got that, which they do set that up in episode one, so they do circle back to it. Now, do I not have another? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Man. I think we gotta go all the way back to central. I'm on my way. They didn't delete my bike, did they? No, okay, it's right here. I wasn't sure how close I parked it. Um, now, let me just check to make sure I'm not barricaded anywhere here. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought there was three way. squares. But alright, let's get back to the hospital. Okay, looks like Cora's already prepared for us here. You made it! The patient's on over here. The comps tower in Sunset. Yeah, I think the last part of this DLC is just driving around the map again. You get like this handy ice shooter though. But yeah, I think we're just going to Sunset. Hopefully we don't have to go to South Alameda, though. That would that would really suck. But yeah, we'll actually, I think, see some main story characters here during this. But let's just get closer to where we need to go. There it is! We made it! This is why I joined the CDC. To save people. How is it that I ended up here? In spite of the CDC. Instead of with it. Yep, there's Rhonda, Gary, and Jeremy. How close do they want me to get? This thing's kind of awkward to drive. Now we need to get Nelson. He's at Annie's triple X. Oh, figures. Alright, there we go. Rhonda and Gary are safe. I don't really know who Jeremy is. I think it was just one of the stranded survivors. But, I gotta drive all the way the hell over to South Almuda again. There's just too much back and forth, man. Especially, like, I played this back-to-back -back with the Hunter DLC, so this is after getting all 12 of those bikes. But alright, time to drive around the entire map again. Nelson, get in! Uh, so is Nelson just not actually gonna get in? Call your guys, man. Hurry, we gotta go. Command, command. This is CDC agent Brad Park. Do you read me? Do you read? Why is he purposely in, being an asshole? And inside the city. There we go. Mark? Command, you made it. I made it. I've got survivors. We are getting these people out of here. If it's the last thing I do, it won't be if I can help it. I'm gonna arrange for a transport. Can you get to the diner on the highway up north of Ingleton? On my way. Damn, it's good to hear your voice. Oh, oh, we got their spec ops on our camera. Yeah. Yeah, they start throwing a ton of special forces at you during this. They were attacking me even through, like, Central City and stuff like that. Uh, which is kind of annoying because the freeze truck, the ZDC thing that we're driving, it doesn't actually hurt them. But now we're actually going back where it all started. We're going all the way over to the diner. Lay off! They really don't want us giving up. Yes, Army, you're not giving Kiss up. Your ass. We're getting to that diner, damn it. We're so close, we cannot give up now. Come on, Brad, don't let them get to you. It seems like we should be moving much faster for the intensity of their voices and stuff like that. It's like we're driving so goddamn slow. But this thing has enough health. It's usually pretty low risk. But yeah, you can't do anything to, de to defeat the soldiers up on the cars. Because this vehicle, because it just does not hurt them. Even if you hit them, like, directly with the ice ball that shoots out, which is extremely loud for some reason, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't hurt them at all. Alright, we're 
almost there. A lot of explosive barrels in the trunks of these cars. Sometimes it's easier to follow the rules, respect the procedure, trust the results. Come on, move, go, go, go! I'm hurrying! Come on, sugar buns! <laughs> But Agent Park realized that doing the right thing means asking questions. Even if the answers mean turning your back on everything you believed in. Yeah, I watched it all in my little room. I could have taken the tapes with me, but... Maybe some stories are better left untold. There we go. That is the last untold story. So we beat all the DLC, and that is kind of why I say that Brad's is the most important, because it actually shows how everybody else gets out before the fighter bombing. Like, that one actually has something to do with the game, where all the other ones, like I said, they're inconsequential. Uh, also, the dude who's, like, narrating all of the tapes that he's watched, that's the guy that was on our transmitter, our transceiver, telling us what missions are available during the base game. I mean, it's assumed that he gets out alive as well. Nobody really knows who he is, but, I mean, there was a lot of evidence to expose the government, so it's a shame he destroyed it all. But yeah, that... The one thing I will say with the DLC that I think is its biggest problem, uh, as you could tell from my sentiment towards it, is it, it picks the worst places to send you to all the time. So you're literally driving circles around the map constantly, so you end up spending like 30 to 40 minutes per DLC just driving. <laughs> Like, uh, I obviously am going to cut all that down, so it's going to seem a lot shorter, but you have to drive around so much in these DLCs because there's no fast travel or anything like that. And it does get really tedious, especially if you're doing the DLCs back to back. Um, like I just, like I said, I, I did the Hunter DLC, the Chaos Rising one or whatever, where I had to get all the 12 bikes, so it was just a lot of driving. Um, that's my biggest issue with the DLC, which uh, adds to its problems i'd say and like i said capcom vancouver did a really bad not a i guess it wasn't a bad job but they didn't do a good job with map design on this game there's so many random barricades that force you to go around the longest route or route or whatever <laughs> as possible and you're constantly hitting shit there's so much stuff in the way so they do clean it up a bit in Dead Rising 4 and they add the ability of fast travel, but that's why I always preferred like the mall setting for Dead Rising. I feel like the open world just convoluted it too much, personally. Um, but overall, the DLCs are still fun in some regard, like I said. It's just the pacing issues in the last two that become really annoying. Uh, the first two DLCs aren't as bad. Usually you're just going district to district and you don't have to backtrack too much, but the last, th the last two you're backtracking 24-7 all around the map so yeah if you're doing them back to back that does get a little tiresome especially if you play it after the main game because you're like jesus christ how many times am i gonna have to drive around this map uh but usually when i play through it i only do the fourth dlc so it doesn't feel as bad um but there we go that is a wrap on dead rising 3 we did everything uh, obviously minus the collectibles because i already had those all picked up years ago um but we finished all the side missions we saved everybody and all that so what a journey that was dead rising 3 it's a very fun game but like i said it, de it definitely has some map issues and some pacing issues especially with its dlcs that's why i one and two are always my favorite honestly i would probably i'd probably say off the record is my second favorite just a little bit above dead rising 2 but off the record we will we'll probably check out off the record once we finish dead rising 4 because i'm just kind of going in the canon chronological order which off the record is not canon it's it's like a what if frank was a part of the fortune city outbreak instead of chuck um and chuck's in the game but he's like a psychopath in it so it's like a what if situation but it's still an insanely fun game they actually clean up some of the stuff that was not 
very well implemented in Dead Rising 2. Like, they, it, like, I guess not very well, but it was like they could have polished it a little bit more. They ended up polishing it in Dead Rising 2 off the record. But off the record has its own issues as well, like its own new bugs. Um, but there we go. Dead Rising 3 is over. That's all the DLCs. Um, as always, thanks to anyone who watches these or when they go live or when whenever in the future. I always appreciate it, and I'll see you on part one for Dead Rising 4.